Hey Joe Minasan, welcome to my Q&A video. I haven't done anything like this for my channel so far, so I thought it would be a lot of fun. And it's kind of like being able to interact with you a little bit, so I think that'll be quite nice. Hajimemasho! The first tweet is from Noah. Favorite video game released since 2010. Most disappointing video game released since 2010. Love you, mum. Um, oh boy. Okay, so favorite game has to be Smash 4. Uh, but other fun games since 2010 is like Super Mario Galaxy 2, um, Animal Crossing, of course, all the Pokemon games, you know, Black White 2, Black White, uh, XY, uh, Stick of Truth, I guess, was another one. Um, I'm a, I'm a dork. Um, let's see. And then most disappointing would have to be, oh, Halo 5. How dare you get rid of split screen matchmaking? Like that was the basis of which my, my fiance Mike and I built our relationship on. So that was really disappointing. I like, I can't wrap my head around the fact that I need two Xboxes to play one game with Mike at home, like that really bothers me. And I know it's not really the biggest deal in the world, but it is for me, so biggest letdown has to be Halo 5, even though I know it's better than anything that's come out since Reach, so whatever. Okay, next is Chanel. What is your guilty pleasure? Eating hot wings and Chinese food while taking a bath. Next, hello, Andre. How much fun do you have on a day-to-day -day basis on Super Panic Frenzy? It's a dream. Like, honestly, uh, I get to be a fool and play video games with my giant weirdo friend while making inane jokes. It's all I ever wanted. Next, we have Darwin. What anime are you watching this season and which one do you enjoy the most this season? Uh, sadly, I'm not watching too many, but I am following Erased, uh, which is Incredible, you have to check it out. I do have a few gripes with it, but uh, it, you just have to watch it. It's still a very, very well-made anime. Uh, Anthony, what is a good way to start learning Japanese? Well, my channel, of course, um, but in all seriousness, the best way to learn a language is to immerse yourself as much as possible with it. Um, a lot of people get flack for learning Japanese through anime, but I think it's a perfectly fine and even like methodical way to learn, especially if you enjoy it. Um, the more you hear it, the more you'll be able to pick up linguistic patterns on your own, which is what's very important about Japanese because it's a very phonetic language. So watch a lot of anime. Or even other like Japanese drama shows and stuff like that. And now Brandon asks, if the opportunity to do so ever came up, would you make a dating sim game and what sort of game would it be? Uh, yes, my own what the fuck Japan game, of course. Yes, please. Um, I think I'd like it to be a lot like Honey Pop because I personally enjoyed Honey Pop a lot and I really like puzzle games. So I think uh, the reward system of getting to see the girls become even more naked as you do better in the puzzle game makes a lot of sense to me. And I know it's not really a dating sim game or it's actually a parody of dating sim games and uh, I know it's not made in Japan, but regardless, it is probably one of the best games I've played in all of 2015, just saying. And Alyssa asks, when you were little, what did you want to be when you grew up? I wanted to be a vet, a pet doctor, veterinarian, because I loved animals, and then I learned what euthanasia was, and then I did not want to be that anymore. I was also young, so like the concept of having to put down a pet wasn't really making a lot of sense to me, so there was a little bit of trauma in that. Uh, then I wanted to be a forensic scientist and work for the FBI, and now I make fart jokes on YouTube, and I wouldn't have it any other way. Airbending Bear wants to know how tall I am. I am exactly five feet tall, and I'm 27 years old. Allie wants to know, boobs or butts? Uh, why not both? I really love a good butt, but I think I'm a boob person. I love boobs. They're just so different and unique. Uh, West Pitt asks, what made you want to get into YouTube? Did you think you would be this successful? Well, thank you, and thank you for having my poster on your wall. That's very lovely of you. Um, YouTube started as a pipe dream, I would say. I was a huge fan of Phil, SourceFed, uh, Brats and Bretta, and I was just a lowly intern back in 2012 because I was such a big fan, and then I did other gaming stuff for a different channel, and then Phil must have remembered me well or liked my stuff. He asked me to audition for SourceFed in 2014, and the rest is history. Um, I honestly didn't feel confident or really successful until Super Panic Friends that's where a lot of my pride and creative efforts came from uh, and flourished. So even until last year, I didn't think I was going to be successful. Reynario asks, what are your favorite kinds of candies from Japan? I love gummies. Um, 
Fettuccine Gumi is my favorite one so far because it's got like a really nice consistency and it's also a little bit sour, which I love. Um, let's see, so it's my go-to, but in general, oh, I'm more of a salty snack kind of person, so I'm down to mess with puritsu and karubi potechi and um, umaibo. Um, I guess I'm pretty basic. Oh, and Dontakusu is so good. Muji wants to know who my favorite Attack on Titan character is. My favorite is Mikasa too. She's kind of like a sexy, strong, silent type tamari dude, but with boobs and a six pack. And like, who could oh, who could ask for more? I literally want to be her and then like have sex with myself. Clemente wants to know what is your all time career goal? Well, I want my channel to be big and successful on its own. That would be the dream. Uh, but. Let's see, oh, I always had an affinity for voice acting. Uh, voice acting is taken very seriously in Japan uh, because anime is taken very seriously in Japan. So I always had this glamorous idea of what it's like to be one and their voices are so much fun and obviously I love anime so it's a world that I just wanna be a part of. And uh, recently I took a workshop with Tony Oliver who just finished recording for Lupin Sunset and he's so inspiring and it was just so much fun. I learned a lot of things from him. So I don't think I can actually do it for my career but but if I had the opportunity to, that would be my all-time career goal. Colin K, what is your go-to comfort food? Ramen, of course. It's so yummy and noodly and salty and it's perfect for hangovers. Nexu-chan would like to know if I plan on having kids one day. Yes, eventually, yeah. Um, I want a boy and then I want a girl. And then that's it, that's all I want. And last but not least, Audrey, not my Audrey, but this Audrey asks, I know you've probably told this story many times before. Uh, what was your first day like on SourceFed? Okay, it was weird um, and extremely nerve wracking, but the first video I ever did was an anime club with Meg and she made me feel so comfortable and she was so sweet and she really like kind of paved a path for me to join the conversation, which was so professional and wonderful of her. Um, so I had a lot of fun, even though I was a bit of a hot mess. Um, I'm pretty sure I saw Steve Zaragoza's butt immediately and that's essentially initiation. Um, I recognized a bunch of people from when I was interning, so that made me feel a lot more comfortable as well. But I mean, just in general, I was very nervous and cautious, and I think that's how a lot of people feel at any job that they start for the first time. So that's kind of it, just kind of nerve wracking and uncomfortable. <laughs> that's it for now. Thank you to everyone who sent me tweets. I still have so much more, so maybe I'll save those for a second Q&A video. Please like the video if you haven't already, and if you like what you saw, maybe even subscribe. You can ask me more questions in the comment section below, and you can even tweet them at me with the hashtag AskSenpai. Sonja matane!